Good afternoon and welcome to the Perkins Garages YouTube channel for a Ford Mondeo Vignali Saloon walk around video. But before we get started with the walk around, if you'd be kind enough to hit the subscribe button, that would mean you'll never miss a walk around video from me ever again. So this here is a magnetic grey Ford Mondeo Vignali Saloon, HEV, so that is a hybrid electrical vehicle. So all that means for you is there's no plugging in, there's no waiting for it to charge, you just jump in it and drive it like any other vehicle and get some very competitive MPG out the back of it. That is partly thanks to the 2 litre TIVCT engine which produces 187 PS of power. That 187 PS of power is then transmitted through the front wheels through an automatic gearbox. The vehicle itself is registered on a 2022 registration, meaning we'll take Ford warranty with us until April 2025. The vehicle itself is on just over 16,000 miles, but like always, I'll get the exact number once we're on the dash in a moment. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves to the near side front bumper, and I'm going to get the remote central locking key out of my pocket, click on the unlock button, and that in turn will wake up the daytime running lamps. Daytime running lamps give you the ultimate visibility, no matter the lighting condition. A quick disclaimer here, they're going to be flashing in your video, but that is simply because the frequency in which my camera records at. So let me assure you, they're not flashing in real life. They're just, uh, yeah, it's not a strobe light upgrade, they're just giving you the ultimate visibility. Inside there we have the LED adaptive headlights also, and just below that, LED front fog lights. Starting around the side of the bumper, we can see our first parking sensor and they trail all along the front lip of the bumper and this means we have the Ford Active Park Assist installed on the vehicle. That little dull bit down at the bottom right hand side is a front facing radar and that is going to be responsible for a lot of the driver assistance pack such as pre-collision assist which I shall cover once we're inside the vehicle. We come round to the first gorgeous 19 inch alloy wheel, they're like a carbonised grey nickel colour uh, so it matches the, uh, the magnetic grey of the bodywork beautifully. So 19 inches in diameter and they, they are fitted with the Continental Contact 6 tyres as standard. Just in between the alloy there you might be able to see we have the silver painted brake calipers. I'm going to draw your attention north quickly. In the windscreen there is a sensor for the lights. So as the sun goes down, the moon comes up, your lights shall come on automatically. Further north we have one there for the traffic speed sign recognition camera and we have one for the automated headlights and the rain sensing wipers. Back down to earth now, what I'm going to do is just get the key out of my pocket, lock the vehicle, put the key back in my pocket and I'm going to demonstrate to you keyless entry. So quite simply because we have the four lines on the door handle there, I can tap behind the door handle and that will unlock the vehicle and it's simply a tap on those lines again will then lock the vehicle. So if I just unlock it quickly this vehicle is fitted with power folding and heated door mirrors, so they're going to be defrosting or decon. I forgot the word, but they'll be defrosting nice and quickly in the winter. It, in addition, at the end there, we also have the blind spot assist monitor, and that will illuminate orange if someone was in your blind spot, either on the near side or the off side of the vehicle. Keyless entry does time itself out after about 20 seconds or so, so wait to see when the mirrors fold in. Nice safety feature, so if you don't open the door, then nobody else can get in it as well. So we have rear privacy glass and that stretches around the rear windows of the vehicle. At this stage of the video, I stand at the offside rear and what I do is I get nice and high to the vehicle and just gently shimmy the camera all the way down, showing just how beautiful all the body panels are. So there we are, the keyless entry has just locked the vehicle once again. So hopefully that's given you a good understanding of all the body panels but this is a, a damage free vehicle coming round to the offside rear now we can see another beautiful alloy wheel rear discs on this one for those that are interested and, and again we have a parking sensor all the way around the bumper and that's to aid the park assist rear parking sensors are complemented beautifully with a high definition reversing camera and I'm going to give the near side the exact same treatment as we did the offside. So starting nice and high, almost at the roof level, I'm just going to gently rock the camera back and forth, hopefully demonstrating to you how beautiful all the body panels are. So we can link that to the near side rear wheel now. Give you a good look at that. And we can follow that all the way down to the near side front wheel. So again, a nice matching set of premium contact six Continentals. 
and again I thought I'd demonstrate just how marvellous the condition of those tyres are. So that is the exterior taken care of, now it's time we had a look inside the boot. So we do have a double double click unlock function on the remote central locking and when you click that it's not a power opening tailgate but it does make a start for you. So inside the boot of this beautiful Mondeo uh, we do have a slight hump there and that is because that is where the high voltage battery is kept but you still have a very large volume boot big enough for golf clubs a couple of suitcases anything you'd come to expect to take away but yeah this is a very large volume boot even with that hump there as well underneath the boot liner here we also have a tire sealant kit and compressor so that will inflate the tire in case of a puncture Coming round now, let's have a look inside the rear. So again, we do have keyless entry on every door handle. So I can, so possibly if you had children and you need to get the kids into the car, it's a nice convenient system to open up the rear doors without scrambling for the key. If we have four electric windows, so you get a control for them on every single door card. On the doors itself, we have this beautiful soft touch leather, all defined by this beautiful white stitching all the way around with a cream accent running through there as well that theme continues with the seats so if i spin the camera around we have a beautiful ebony leather which is perforated in the middle part to make it a nice comfortable seat to sit on like so if you did have those smaller humans of the world and they require the iso fixing seat we have one iso fixing seat on the left hand and the right hand rear seat when they're a bit older and they uh, maybe suffer with a cold bottom they need heated rear seats to keep them nice and warm. Uh, equally, we have the rear air conditioning vents there as well, and at the bottom, a 12 volt socket. So, that's the rear in all its beauty. Now it's time to look inside the front. So, opening up the driver's door now. On the driver's door, to begin with, we have the three way memory function for the electric seats. We have interior locking just next to the door handle. All four window controls and mirror controls are also found on this nice little cluster. Spinning the camera around, we can then have a look at the driver and passenger seats. Again, it's a beautiful perforated leather with those white accents or cream accents along the side. These seats are both electrically adjustable. Um, they're identical. So you've got a one, a two, a three, a four, five, six, seven, eight, 9 10 way adjustable driver's seat and this button here is pretty special as well which i shall come to in a second okie dokie so now inside the vehicle what we can do is to complement the keyless entry we have a engine start stop button so pop your foot on the brake one click of that button and that shall gain you power to the rest of the vehicle okay just trying to sort that sunlight out for everybody. Like so, I'm just going to turn off the air conditioning, turn down the radio. So I'm going to begin the interior tour with a tour around the dashboard. So what we're going to do is just show you here quickly, I've got arrows on the left hand and on the right hand side of the steering wheel, and they correspond to the two screens either side of the dial. So let's look at the left hand to begin with. So very important on our hybrid vehicle, when you start the vehicle up, you'll be greeted with a ready to drive or green vehicle. This is essential if you want to go anywhere. So this is stating the high voltage battery is all good and ready to go. If we OK that message, it takes us into what's called my view. So here you can adapt whatever you'd like to look at. So in here we have at the moment, we have an MPG, a digital speedo, EM power and my view there as well. So we're currently averaging just over 50 MPG. We have live tyre pressures there as well. And uh, yeah, so this vehicle is booked in to go into the workshop tomorrow morning. So you might be looking at those tyre pressures saying, why isn't one there? That is going to be rectified tomorrow before you comment. Uh, coming down and back to a digital speedo. So if we come out of there once more, we can then go into settings. In settings, we're gonna start a driver assistance, go to the top of the menu. The driver assistance pack on this vehicle includes traction control, local hazard information, blind spot assist, cross traffic alert. We have cruise control, which is the adaptive cruise control. Again, a driver alert, lane keeping system, a pre-collision assist, and traffic sign recognition software, a sp intelligent speed limiter, and a tire monitor. 
Back out of there once more, we can then go into vehicle. In vehicle, this is where all your sensors will be displayed, such as your keyless entry or easy entry. In lighting, that will demonstrate the adaptive headlamps and auto high beam that I mentioned earlier. In locks, again, this is going to be for your miss lock and remote unlocking, such as your global unlock. So hold the unlock button down and it will put the windows all down. In mirrors, we have the auto folding mirrors and somewhere we have wipers, which is the rain sensing wipers. So that's the left-hand side of the screen. I said I'll get you the exact mileage. And the exact mileage is 16,078.6. In the middle of this screen, we have the beautiful analog speedo, so miles per hour around the outside and kilometers an hour in the middle. Being an automatic vehicle, we have a gear selector indicator at the bottom there as well. The right-hand screen correlates to a lot of your media. So as you can see, we've got entertainment at the top, so you can have all of your radio coming through there or your DAB or your CD player. Then we go into your phones. This is relating to your Bluetooth connectivity. We have a beautiful sync navigation system on board. So if you did have your destination programmed in and active, you can have your directions appear in front of you. And lastly, we have a fuel economy screen on there as well. Okay, so that is the uh, steering wheel. Uh, steering wheel. That is the driver display in all its glory. Uh, so again, we have the arrows either side of the steering wheel. Bottom right hand cluster there, we have a previous and next song function along with a volume plus, a volume minus, a voice command, and a mute button. Coming over to the left-hand side now, we have all the controls for the adaptive cruise control. So it's very easy, a nice ergonomic place to keep it, so you can easily take it off a standby, set your speed limiter, set the distance to the vehicle in front, and even set your speed there as well. So progressing nicely into the center console of this vehicle now, we have some switch, uh, buttons either side. So we have a, the Ford Active Park Assist, an Eco Drive Mode, and parking sensors on and off. The right hand side, we have the lever for the electronic handbrake. In the middle of it all, we have the gear selector for the automatic gearbox. So with your foot on the brake, then you can unlock the shifter at the back there and pull it down to the relevant drive position. Also on the right hand side is where you'll find the heel descent control. In the little cubby hole there, we have two USB-A ports which shall deliver 2.1 amps of charging. And to the right hand side under that black cover is another 12 volt socket. So that is three 12 volt sockets, 12 volt sockets in total. Just above that, we can see the uprated Sony audio system. So that includes 12 individual speakers around the cabin, give you a very high quality sound. Uh, we also have dual zone air conditioning, so both sides of the cabin can be set to individual temperatures. So not only do we have the physical controls here to adjust temperature and fan speed and different demists down the left hand side, along with recirculation, electronically heated windscreen and air conditioning at the right hand side. Those of you with the keen eyes would have noticed these two buttons here. This one here is for the heated front seat. So this is the driver's side, that is obviously the passenger side. So you have a three-way heated seat and you also have a three-way air conditioned seat so uh, those of you that suffer with a sweaty bottom in the summer months i'm not going to judge you maybe a good solution would be an air conditioned seat sir or madam or anybody else so it's a very nice system indeed so these seats are incredibly special because the, the party pieces don't stop there not only electronically adjustable memory function they're heated, they're air conditioned, and we can adjust them via the screen, and they'll also give you a massage whilst you're driving along as well. So it's a very beautiful system on these seats. So massage, massage off. But if you go into massage, top right hand side, either yourself or the passenger can be having either a, a low or high intensity massage whilst driving along. So it's a very nice function indeed. So let's cover the screen now. So we've done the seats already nice and early. So if we begin by digesting the buttons I've mentioned before. So when you click the Ford Active Park Assist, it should come up with this screen. And that'll direct you to a parallel park out, a bay park in or perpendicular park. And also we have a parallel park in, uh, sorry, parallel park out, bay park and a parallel park in. And what you do is you use the indicator to dictate which side of the road you shall be parking on. So it uses the front and rear parking sensors to build up an image, build up how much space it has. So then what you do is just follow the instructions, put it into the relevant drive gear, release the steering wheel, and it will do all the work for you. So it's a very lovely system if you do struggle with your parking. So if we come out of that screen once more, I mentioned earlier we have a high definition reversing camera, like so. 
So that gives you the park assist. So as you move the steering wheel, the line shall move also. So helping you in or out, well, helping you in any spaces. Top right hand side of the screen is where you'll find the proximity sensor for the front and rear parking sensors. So that gives you an intermittent beep that shall increase in frequency as you get closer or further from the object in question. It's going to pop the vehicle back into park so I don't forget and we return back to the home page. On the home page we have the widget at the bottom right for the heated steering wheel. So that is a winter pack so front and rear heated seats along with a heated steering wheel as well. So it's fantastic if you uh, suffer from the cold. So this is a Sync 3.4 module. We have the dark blue band at the bottom so we know it's the updated software. To begin in audio then we go to sources and they include AM, FM, DAB, CD, and Bluetooth audio. Return to the climate screen, and this is where you have the touchscreen buttons for the dual zone climate control. So again, you'll get the digital readout. So for example, it's still in Fahrenheit for some bizarre reason. We have different temperatures either side. Returning back in the phone connectivity bit there, that is where you'll add your phone if you require Bluetooth connectivity. Furthermore, we have the sync navigation here. I use sync navigation all the time. I think it's brilliant. For example, you'd like to come to Perkins Garages to look at this vehicle. You're going to click on the search box. Once the keyboard is loaded, you're going to need Charlie, Mike, 77, 6, Sierra, Alpha. Pick the search box, and it will navigate your route once it's spoke to the GPSs nice and quickly. So I'm not going to click start because obviously I'm here already, and it might start shouting at me. So that is the sync navigation in all its glory. It's worth noting this screen is also supportive of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so whichever software you might have on your mobile phone. If you were to plug it in using one of those USB ports down there and a USB data cable, it should pretty much mirror your phone onto this screen here. So there's many advantages of the CarPlay systems, but the main one is you're not having your hands on your phone whilst you're driving. So all the information you would need will be on the screen. So for example, you'll take advantage of applications such as your audio books, podcasts, music, maps and things such as that. So where we do have a forward navigation already, you're not constricted to that because you can also use your Apple Maps and Google Maps or Waze. They're all compatible on the screen also. My favorite feature of CarPlay is the voice assistant. So if you're Android, you get a Google Assistant and if you're Apple, you get Siri. Myself, I'm Siri, so I can, whilst driving along, ask Siri to do a whole multitude of things for me. Whether it's call home, send a text message, ask what the football score is, what's the weather gonna be like tomorrow? but it keeps your hands off your phone whilst driving, but keeping you informed. That's a very nice feature indeed. So I think I've covered just about everything this afternoon. I mean, there'll be plenty of other spec that I've inevitably forgotten, but I think I've covered a large part of it. So thank you very much for your time this afternoon. I hope you found it useful. If you did require any more information, please do give us a call on 01376 550 899. Please like, subscribe, and leave us a lovely comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to enjoy my massage. Bye-bye for now.